Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you haven't seen that video of me crying, that video right there, you won't know this but my medication has been changed, well dropped rather. So to anyone who doesn't know, I take haloperidol. I've been on haloperidol for three years now and it's been a life changing medication. I've been on the full dose of 10 milligrams for two years now and on Sunday last week my psychiatrist had sent a letter to my GP surgery stating that he wanted to remove one dose of my medication, my evening dose of the medication. Now, while I'm all for decreasing medication, and yeah, I want to come off some of my medication, I didn't expect my haloperidol dose to be decreased, so I got really worked up about it, and it really, really did fuck with me because. The last time my haloperidol dose was decreased, it was decreased by 2.5 milligrams and I was hospitalised because I started hearing voices again. Now I've been on this decreased dose for almost a week now, they've taken off 5 milligrams which is a scary amount of my medication to be taken off and so far it's been really hard I've been on edge, I've been seeing things in the corners of my eyes I've been having horrific dreams and just all around it just hasn't been good I've been doing things to distract myself like going ice skating if you know that's going out let me know in the comments and I'll post a video I got some new clothes. If you haven't seen the whole videos, I'll link them on the iCard. But yeah, my haloperidol dose has been decreased by half of what I used to take, which I think is a ridiculous thing to do. Surely, if you're going to remove medication, you do it bit by bit, not just oh, we're going to take five milligrams. And the worst part about it all is. My psychiatrist has written in the paperwork that he discussed it with me. In April, when I had an appointment with this new psychiatrist, he had no problem with my medication staying as it was. And he did not discuss with me taking down the doses. It was the first time he met me, he was talking about discharging me, and I was very happy with how that appointment went. And I did, li I did actually like this psychiatrist until he did this. Um, so I've been feeling a bit shit, to be honest. And I'd like to thank Alana. If you don't know who Alana is, this is Alana. Her videos, her channel will be linked up there. Alana has been really supportive and I don't know where I'd be without her. My grandparents have been FaceTiming me every day so I have their support. I just, I've been, I've been miserable to be around. That's what I was so upset about in that video. I just wanted to make a video to clarify that while I'm doing okay, there are there's a major change that's just happened, and honestly, I couldn't process it because I didn't find out why until Tuesday because Monday was a bank holiday. I thought my GP surgery had screwed up somewhere because they do do that. Why couldn't you just stop one of my antidepressants? I'm on two of the things. Take, take me off the antioxidant. <laughs> Please, I hate it. But yeah, 
In other news, I'm wearing a sparkly jumper. Well, wow, jacket. It's one of my new clothes. That's what's been going on with me. Thank you for all the support on that video and thank you for those of you who reached out to me to make sure I was okay. It's genuinely appreciated. Thanks for your support and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. If you're not already, subscribe, turn notifications on. I don't really have an upload schedule anymore, I just upload when I film videos and they go public when they're made. So it's a bit everywhere. The only video that's getting scheduled is this one because I already have a video going up today. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me. It, it does mean a lot. Peace.